Right, well, thanks. Wish I'd brought popcorn. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time we were in Gongaga. We fought the Turks, we found the Titan Materia, and we overheard Scarlet with her dastardly plans. Now we're going to continue onwards and do a little explore. I'm pretty sure I know where we need to go. I'm just curious if there's anything along this way. I don't think there is. Apart from a river crossing, where we definitely need to go, which I definitely remembered about. Holy crap. Barret. The grenade bomb on all of them from behind. This is going to be glorious. I can sense if anything survives, but I don't think so. That was worth it. Hi, potion. Also good. Yeah, we got a different staff for Aerith from the Turks, but I don't think it's as good. I like her uh, materia MP point stealing meta. I think it works. Oh my god, we're at Cosmo Canyon already. It's, it's so amazing. This used to take me like forever to get through as a kid. I remember at one point this was the first I got um, after the... Like when this area, this whole subplot comes to a close. I know, skipping ahead a little bit. The game always crashed. And that was like, that was it. I remember the first time I got beyond this, I was like, what the fuck? Oh man, a breakdown. No. Yeah, it's awkward. Let's go to this handy observatory place. Ah, uh, yes, the music. Just those first notes, you just instantly know what it is. I am... Uh, wait, he's English. I'm home! Tis I, Nanaki! Is that you, Nanaki? You're safe! Bo Bugenhagen was so worried, you should go see him. Nanaki? So this is Cosmo Canyon. I think they studied the planet here, so maybe we can learn something. No learning. I didn't think we'd end up here. This is a very special place. I don't pity the fool who ends up here. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Uh, yes, but let's say no and get all the stuff. Then allow me to introduce you. This was once a battleground between two ancient tribes. Now it's the home to those who seek to study the planet and share that knowledge with others. It's damn good to be back. I learned about the planet here, then I left to form Avalanche. I'm sorry to say this, but we have too many guests in the canyon at present, and so... What was that, Barrett? <laughs> These people helped me. Without them, I would not have made it back home. Oh, is that so? You helped turn into Naki. Then we'll make an exception. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. That does make sense. Oh god, this remastered music. So this is Cosmic Canyon. Quite a mysterious place. Have you come to study the planet as well? Uh, sure. Yeah, I heard there's an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I get the chance. You heard? What do you mean you heard? It's like quite clearly there. Yay, Nanaki's back, Nanaki's back. It's all thanks to this flame. The fire is called the Cosmo Canyon. It's burned for generations. It's a holy flame that protects the canyon from misfortune. I've heard it only went out once when the canyon was attacked. The elders said that the attackers had coveted the canyon and wanted to kill everyone here. Good. Well, let's not talk to you again. Too many pages of exposition. Hello? Is that so? You brought the Mackey back here. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, welcome. How about our original cocktail, the Starlet... Starlet Candle? Drink now and then is good for you. A drink now and then is good for you. It'll relax you a bit, if you know when to stop. Yeah, we don't. Barrett strikes me as one who probably doesn't. Ha! Moonstone. The hell is that? Easy to get if you're a pal of nobles. Well, that's enlightening. If anyone has any clue what that does, let me know in the comments. Because I sure don't. Hello. Welcome to the Shildra Inn. The 100 Gil Knight without stay no effects. Ah, I've just realized something. Turtle's Paradise, number 5. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in the Turtle's Paradise. 
there's an unmarked site. Well, I say unmarked. There's nothing really in this game is marked. But there's a side quest where you need to collect or look at all five of these flyers. And if I'm right, one of them is in the Shinra building. And I've missed it, which means that'll be a long ass time till we can finish that side quest. Spoiler alert, we do go back there at one point, I think. Pretty sure we go back. Or maybe it's one of those optional things where you can go back. I'm pretty sure we end up back there. Let's check out this place as well. I can't really remember the canyon. I mean, there's not much to it, but... Right, okay, that red rope goes away sometime. At, at some point. But I don't remember when, and this is nothing good. Got all this shit, and... Well, I didn't even know there were... Oh no, actually I did know there was an area back there. That's where this green triangle goes. Again, later in the game. At least I think so. I'm trying not to talk too much about stuff that happens later in the game, even though we all know what happens. Here's where I was... I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe will protect us of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors was to protect this place. I'm afraid that my journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Coming, Grandpa. I should have thought ahead and made up a voice for Bergen Hagen. Good timing. Let's take a breather. There's some folks around here that I want to see. There's just no explanation. No shit's given. The Tiger Lily Arm Shop. Oh, welcome. The people of the canyon hate the fights. We mostly just sell replicas. But uh, that's bad for business, so I keep a few real ones around, just in case. Butterfly Edge. Normal growth, eh. Tiger Fang, Heavy Vulcan. Hmm. These weapons are kinda cheap as well. Silver Barrettes. Hmm. Probably end up buying the silver barrette. That's for red 13. Let's try. Let's get a heavy Vulcan. I think we're gonna stick with uh, this team for a fair while, as much as possible. Let's see what the butterfly edge is like. I, I kind of miss, or I will miss having that double XP, but um, we'll see what it looks like. And I'm not gonna change up my materia right now because. There's got to be a lot of shenanigans going along, and holy crap, that's just like a giant fighting knife. <laughs> I like it, actually, what's this? Turtles Paradise News for answer number four, now hiring. Looking for someone who could stand long hours of boredom. For details, can, can uh, contact... Contact? Contact the Turtles Paradise. Okay. I didn't know there were two of them here. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if New Fret moved the one in the Shinra building. To be less of a slightly dickish position. Hey Barrett, this is where I learned all about the planet and Mako. I couldn't leave things as they were, so I took Marlene to Midgar and started recruiting people. That's how it all started. Guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. Do you want to hear more? Uh, I really don't. If I'd know what I'd... If, if I'd known then what I knew now, maybe I wouldn't have tried to fight Shinra the way I did. I want revenge for Coral. I ended up getting a lot of people killed who weren't responsible. A lot's happened. Yeah. Now we're chasing Sephiroth, but after that, we still got Shinra's reactors sucking the planet dry. The Shinra are just so damn big, we can't bite off all of them. Can we even save the planet? Yeah, I'm sure we can if we give it a fair shot. And believe in ourselves, and teamwork, and courage, and all that stuff. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. Well, maybe we could help you look. That's how games work. We do side quests. Okay. Ah, do I have Barrett to give him his heavy Vulcan? Okay. Hello. Vulcan Hagen sealed this door shut. How do you do that? With super glue? Um, I'm guessing it's something to do with this massive machine here. 
but sure, super glue. Oh, a cook. We're hungry. Oh man, I'm so busy. I need more help. Well, um, maybe Nanaki can help you. And if in here, oh hello. Mm, you old mm, sir, you forgot your change. Mm, yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? Oh, what's your problem? Oh, that's so let me. I am actually here to shop. Oh, is that so? You're here to shop. Mm, damn, sorry. We hardly get any customers, but I do have confidence in our material. Okay. Ooh, command counter, magic counter. Got one of these each and haven't got it equipped. Too expensive for our blood anyway. Although, when we get later in the game and I start properly grinding for stuff, then, um. We, oh, something here. Ice crystal. When we do get to that point, we'll eventually have some materia that's got to like really high levels and then it gets to be worth absurd amounts of gill. And that'll be fine. But for now we're just poor. Although we've probably got much more money than would ever be needed for all of Marlene's schooling, according to Barrett. So uh maybe we're not doing too badly after all. Is this gate open? Is that a mailbox on the edge of the cliff? That seems implausible. Right, now we need a voice from Bugenhagen. Come with it on the fly. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. Bugen? He's incredible. He knows everything. Uh, shall we go with Gandalf? I can't really do Gandalf, but... Who, 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 I helped you guide it... This just sounds like Red 13, doesn't it? Um, I helped you guide it, Nanaki back to us. Be Mr. Bridger from the Italian job. You have my facts. Nanaki is far too young. Oh, I've done too many English voices. Who should, who should that be? Um, right, fuck it. Let's give him Italian. I could, can't do the old coot voice. I've used that too much. And this guy's going to talk a lot, so... Sure, let's give him the stereotypical Mario voice. You have my facts. Nanaki is too young to wander alone. I'm not a child, Grandpa. I'm 48. Woohoohoo. Nanaki's race is incredible longevity. This voice isn't going to annoy anyone at all, is it? He may be 48 in our years, but by his tribe's reckoning, he's only, say, 15 or 16 at the best. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult, eh? Grandfather, enough, I'm already an adult. I've finished my journey and I will return to you. Uh, I've returned to protect you and the people of this canyon. Ooh, set you down, Nanaki. Nobody can save the canyon now, or anywhere else for that matter. Did you reach Midgar, Nanaki? Did you see the sparkling city set about the wastelands below? It's a sparkling jewel, just like my mama's pasta. The land there swept away, just as it was, just as it has, whenever the sinner reacts to be found. Oh god. I'm going to hell. When the planet finally dies, you'll understand that the world is a lot larger than this smaller canyon. And the planet dies? Oh, 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 it could have happened tomorrow, or centuries from now, but it's not a long off. You gotta be kidding. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. What's that? Oh, that's a 1 to 35 skilled soldier, that's what that is. The observatory is listening to Star Song in the universe. Countless stars and planets are being born or dying. Mamma mia. What was that? Presumably more stars on. Oh, 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 oh boy, that was a cry from the planet. Can't you hear it? I hear it. I suffer. They're on a journey to save the planet, Grandpa. Why not show them the overway? It might help them understand. To save the plant. Oh, 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 it's a great idea. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt. I usually charge for this, so you know. Logan Hagen. Some more people have come. I think they're Nanaki's friends. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. 
a little bit tired from the night. It's been a long road. Cloud, you should pick who to bring along. Grandpa's machines have only room for a few people. Don't overcrowd it. Oh boy, don't worry. My orary won't run away. Go and invite to your friends. The friends are right now probably all standing outside going, Who the fuck is Nanaki? Cloud, where have you gone? What have you done? Oh, okay, we're outside. Uh... Nothing to do out here, is there? I just want that scale soldier. No, don't jump down. Oh, wait, there's, there's another ladder. Ah. Did I know that this ladder was here? I don't think I did. Uh, is there anything else while we're here? No. Worth looking. Okay, cuz. Uh, you crazy guy. You go, you steal all of my things. Maybe I'll just give him like a different nationality every time we encounter him. Like one per episode. That won't get really irritating. Oh, oh, oh I am Bogan Egan. Man, that's, that's a terrible French accent. Hello, I am Bogan Egan. I'm from Spain. Right, well that's enough of that. Where the hell is everyone? They said my friends were out here. Have I just completely missed them? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time... I'd be kind of surprised. Also, I think we can read that sign. Come visit the Shildra Inn, try our famous cocktails. No. You take me for a drunkard, sir. Barrett, will you come with? What? Just need to find one person. We'll get the gang back together. We'll give him his heavy assault gun that we just found in this peace-loving place. Uh, it wasn't the assault gun. Heavy Vulcan, that's it. So... Okay, so all, not all his... In fact, it's only his initial weapon that specifically says it's got that. Um, Ranged all. Eh. You know what? Right, I'm I'm gonna have to sort out a lot of materia anyway, so uh, I won't stress it yet. Also, kind of depends. I mean, I might upgrade his weapon, but leave them all with um, the platinum bangles, so that we've got some um, some double growth. But if I need the slots, I'll upgrade to something else. But upgrading weapons is always good because, you know, damage. Hey, over here. Doors unlocked. Come in. Woohoo! So you're all here. Let's begin. Come over here. I do really like those FMVs that we can actually move around in. This is amazing. Oh yes, it is pretty good. This is my observatory. For the workings of space, I are observed and then entered into this holographic system. Hey, a shooting star. How wonderful. Quit the gawking. Let's get to the subject. To save the planet, you must first understand what the planet is. Well, Barrett probably knows. Eventually, all the living things die. But what happens to them after they have a blessed blood? They have a passed away. Please stop being able to talk, that's what happens. 
Well, the body decomposes. Everyone knows all that much. What about their consciousness, their knowledge, and the memories? These are two return to the planet. It's not just the humans either. Every living thing returns to the planet, the birds, the beasts, the trees. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and then roam beneath the planet's surface. They roam, converge and divide, becoming a swell we call the life stream. The planet is a body and the spirit energy coursing through what the subterranean reaches is the blood. I'm sorry, old Italians. I just can't do the voice. Spirit energy is a term you should never forget. It's because of spirit energy that new life is able to enter the world with a consciousness, a soul. And when the time is up, uh, the spirit energy inside the meat returns to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but that is the way of the world. And now there is something very important I must show you. Maybe I picked Italian because I recently watched the Super Beard Bros play through all three Kaizo Marios. Which, if you've not heard of, you should go and check it out because holy crap. And Super Beard Bros were really good at it too. Much Mario skill. Of course you'll probably get into trouble for stereotyping Italians by saying Mario and linking that with Italy in any sort of way. Even though he is Italian in the set. But you mustn't say it. Spirit energy is the source of all our life. Everything from planets to humans. But it's not just us. The planets themselves are alive. They need the spirit energy to resist. So if that spirit energy were to disappear... Broke your model, bro. These are the basics of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Oh, ho, ho. spirit energy is efficient because it grows through the life it creates. Spirit energy is extracted and used as simple fuel, however. It can only diminish as the true purpose cannot be fulfilled. We're talking about Mako, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up the spirit energy for use as an energy source. What's essentially happening is that the essence of living things are being used up and lost forever. In other words, Mako energy... I'm sorry. Mako energy will inevitably destroy the planet when there is no longer enough spiritual energy left. Yeah, that would be bad, okay. Well, thanks for the light show. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. I've been trying, they just keep talking about the stuff they've lost. Nanaki, his father, a coward. So that's it. Nanaki has been thinking this all the time. Right, well, thanks. Wish I'd brought popcorn. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, I can't remember actually. Do we just go back out and then uh, Red will jump on us? Yeah, I guess that'll be what happens. Sorry, Nanaki. Red Fatin was my slave name. My name is Nanaki. Although he did say we can call him whatever we want. So we just continue calling him his lab experiment name. Because that's humane. Back down the stairs. I feel like I'm going to get into trouble. I feel like I shouldn't have done the Italian voice. But it's fun. It breaks up the long periods of exposition. 
And boy, are they long. This place is a bore, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go back to the gold saucer. I agree. Oh, okay, I guess we're not talking to everyone else. Cosmo Canyon. That's where Avalanche was born. I promised the guys that once we'd saved the planet from the Shinra, we'd come back and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. But I don't know if that's all it, if that's all it was. Maybe they had other reasons. For me, it was all about revenge. We all hate the Shinra for one reason or another. But it was it right to go on like that? A lot of innocent people died because of what we did back in Midgar. And Marlene grows up and she finds out about it. Will she ever forgive me? I ain't sure about my reasons, but I know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people on it, then I'm gonna do it. Don't matter if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I gotta stay focused on that. I'm gonna do it. Again. Avalanche is born again. Okay, calm down. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. Okay, interesting. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They have a way of making you remember all sorts of things. We're pretty close to Nibelheim, so I've been thinking a lot about it. About five years ago, I mean. Cloud, listen to me. Five years ago, you... It's nothing. No, forget it. I need a bit of time. What is it? Tell me, Tifa! It just feels like you've changed so much. You really are you, right? Uh, okay. How do you narrate ellipses? I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things. But Cetra and the Promised Land... I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... I mean, we're here for you, right? I know, but I'm the only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? Okay. Well... What do we... Oh, man, I shouldn't know what we're supposed to do. Do I... Can I just take a seat? What? Have I just bummed everyone out? Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy. But when I think of my father, my heart is full of anger. You can't really forgive your father. Of course not. He left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving her and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There's something you should see. It will be dangerous, however. The best of two of your friends came along with us. Just not all of us. That would be madness. Alright, um... I guess we want to take Aerith, because we want the healing. Uh, damn. Can't see their stats. I uh, don't know. Um, I wonder how good Red is at magic. I think he's okay at magic. Maybe we'll just make Red or Healer. Uh, in which case... Let's do it like this. Get rid of our material off of Aerith. Although Barret can't steal MP, which could be decisive. And I do want to use air as much as possible. Okay. So, uh, let's change our mind again. You know what? I'll do all this off cam. Right, I think that ought to do. In fact, did I put red in the front row? I did, but air needs to go in the back. So it'll be interesting because I don't. In fact, did red get his second limit break? He did. Okay. But there's no way he's going to unlock his next one with what he's got. Um, 
Right, uh, let's drop a save here. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of awkward. I'm not entirely, in fact, I'm not at all familiar with uh, Red 14's style. I'm sure he'll fit in just the same as Barrett, because when Barrett's with his cannonball, he can only attack one person. He's more or less the same, They're kind of interchangeable. It's just that he's got a lot less HP, which could be rough, but uh, we'll work around it. Anyway, I think things are going okay. We've done a lot of talking in this episode and the one before, but we're going to get right into the action in the Cave of the Gi next time. See you then. <laughs>